Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We are in this secret special location deep within Motor City, Detroit, Michigan, because guess what? We have something upgraded and refreshed for model year 2025. What the heck is it? It's this vehicle right here. This is the 2025 Chevrolet Tahoe. This particular one is the Z71 trim. But before we get into this large and in charge off-road SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. The Tahoe, that really has been part of that bread and butter system from Chevrolet. Going back, we're now pretty much on the fifth generation. It all started back in 1995, if you could believe that. With this vehicle, such an iconic nameplate and a go-to for people that need that full-size, full-on family hauling capability. But then of course, Chevrolet is gonna bring lots of different trims. And now for model year 2025, they really have refined their whole platform from things when it comes to steering, when it comes to suspension, and of course, when it comes to technology and style. Now what's fascinating is a lot of the competition have not been able to really catch on to what Chevrolet is doing. So it's really interesting to think that they could pretty much just sit still on the Tahoe, but for 2025 model year, they decided to bring even more. So what I wanna find out is, if you're looking for that best new SUV, full size, we're not talking about midsize, we're talking about a full size SUV, especially something that has that off-road capability, is this newly upgraded, updated 2025 Tahoe the way to go? Let's go ahead, let's dive in and find out. Right off the bat, the color. This is something, it's not just about some new style, but they have a new color, it's called Cypress Gray. And it's fascinating because I've been telling a lot of the Chevrolet folks, a lot of brands are doing these bluish grays. Very cool to see something different with a green style gray. And I think on the Z71, it fits it to a T. Now, of course, at the front of the business, you're gonna get new lighting. And I really think that GM overall, including Chevrolet, does a great job with their LED lighting. You can see the daytime running lamp that we have illuminated for you. Of course, you're gonna have your LED turn, turn signals. And then you have that lower pod area with your LED headlight. Now, what's interesting is you're gonna get all that intricate detail attention on the interior of the headlight housing. And what's nice is, is that they didn't just change a few things. They really not only changed the style, but also some of the materials. Now, as we come across that new updated, upgraded style grill on the Z71, you'll notice the gloss black intersections. Of course, you're gonna have that blacked out bow tie, goes all the way back so many decades with Louis Chevrolet, forward facing camera, and then another thing that I really love the way they do, of course, is their badging, that Z71 badge. So when you see Z71, you're getting that full on off-road superiority. And we're not just talking about some wheels and maybe some black trim, we're talking about other things. What are those things? Drop it down. You're gonna notice that we have those bright red functional tow hooks. You could pull those Ford Expeditions uh, out of the mud, out of the dirt very easily. And I like the way they're a nice bright red. You'll notice the LED fog lamps. Some brands get rid of fog lamps. We have them on this new upgraded Tahoe. And I really love the way they worked the lower section underneath the main grill. You still have that functionality and that bright aluminum style trim looks really crisp and clean. And then of course, knock, knock, what's that? We have those skid plates underneath to protect the underbelly of this beast while you're going off-roading. And then of course, when it comes to off-roading, you're gonna have certain work that's been done to the chassis. They've gone through all of their trims to work on that chassis and suspension setup. And let's see if you could remember what are the six different trims. Of course, you have starting off LS, LT, RST, Z71, Premier, and then the top trim, which is gonna be high country. Now, as we get up and we get a little bit higher here, you'll notice you still have that nice, big, bold hood. It's got clean folds to it. And I like the way there's not like a super hard edge. Everything kind of just drifts towards the windshield and evaporates. Now, underneath the hood, we have some things to talk about. I think one of the things that's made this Tahoe so successful is choice in engine options. A lot of other brands going to smaller displacement, 
twin turbocharged, turbocharged this, that, and everything else, you're still gonna get your naturally aspirated V8 power. So you got the tried and true 5.3 liter, naturally aspirated V8, that's gonna be 355 horsepower. You have your 6.2 liter, naturally aspirated V8, which is 420 horsepower, but guess what? Now, all trims, you have the availability of that Duramax turbo diesel engine, especially the first time on the Z71. Now, what does that mean? That means you're getting something that's actually not only the first time, but also upgraded. So that three liter Duramax turbo diesel engine now has a 10% power increase. You're looking at 305 horsepower, but guess what? It's not just the horsepower, torque, 495 pound feet of torque underneath the hood of this beast. So that's gonna be some of the extra excitement for the Tahoe. Now, as we come around the bend, like I mentioned, we talked about changes up front. We got changes when it comes to wheels and tires. And on the Z71, you're gonna get these 20 inch wheels. Love the machined aluminum. You got that dark gray metallic finish. And like I said, when we talk about an off-road vehicle, we're not talking about something that you just go to the mall with and you drive over a parking block. We're talking about a vehicle that's got the skid plates, it's got the tow hooks, but you also have those Goodyear off-road Wrangler tires. So that is gonna be the proof in the eating of the pudding because you'll notice how you have that shield protection in the sidewall. So these are very durable tires for doing the off-road business. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the size of these things? 275 on the width. Of course, you have a 60 series sidewall. And one of the things I love about the Z71, all body colored on the fenders. I really think, especially with the Cypress gray color, it looks phenomenal. And like I said, they retuned the suspension, they retuned the steering. Not that this is a corner carver, like you're gonna you know, carve corners like the Thanksgiving Day turkeys you're gonna eat. It's all about making you feel comfortable, making you feel more confident as you are behind the wheel of any of the Tahoes. Now, as we rise back up, of course, you gotta have a Z71 badge. And like I said, the badges that Chevy pumps out look phenomenal. You're gonna have your color match mirror caps with a little bit of gloss black. Of course, your 360 degree cameras. I like the way they blacked out the, Toha, the Tahoe name on the side. And then of course, you have your stationary running boards, which I think are a really good size, especially depending on what size people you have in your family to get in and out of this new Tahoe. Now, of course, from the side of the vehicle, you're gonna see a lot of similarities to model year 2023, model year 2024. But this 2025, like I said, as we continue, it's not so much what's on the side, it's what's underneath. And with that chassis refinement, they're trying to stop as much noise and harsh vibration getting into the cabin. So definitely can't wait for the first drive for this vehicle so that we can see all the inner bits underneath the sheet metal. Now coming down the side, of course, you're gonna have the gloss black roof rails. I like the way they kept it cohesive on the design. I'm gonna go ahead and close this, there we go. Gloss black on the sides. We keep working our way towards the rear. You're gonna have that multi-link independent rear suspension, just like before. Of course, that really opens up how much room is back there for that third row passenger so they don't feel like a peasant being squished in the back of some vehicle in a Tahoe. You got plenty of room. And then we swing it around out back, just like up front, we started with some new lights. You're gonna have that long roof spoiler, color match, cypress green. Uh, uh, cypress gray, that's the color. You do have, I love the way they tuck away the windshield wiper. Really gives it a nice clean look at the end. And then the way they did the LED lighting, absolutely phenomenal on the front, but also on the back. And then just like before, you're gonna have your Tahoe name across the middle, gloss black badging, and then working our way down to ground level, what do we got going on? I absolutely love these exhausts. Staggering exhaust that you could actually see, and better yet, we're gonna be able to hear the sounds that emanate from that exhaust. And then of course, towing. That's always an important thing. This flat black cover, you take this off, the Tahoe could tow up to 8,400 pounds. But why don't we go ahead Let's get to the interior because guess what? I have some big new changes I can't wait to show you. All right, guys, here it is. We are inside this 2025 Chevrolet Tahoe Z71. Really special that they have the Z71 trim. Like I said, you have all those other trims available to you, but it's kind of nice to show this off-road version because I really think, to me, 
it looks killer. Now, I know you're saying, well, Joe, what about price? What's the price going to be? No official pricing yet, but expect Chevrolet to keep it very competitive, especially compared to the competition. But I can't wait to show you the technology in here, but you know where we got to start to the door panels. I absolutely love how they're changing up the material. You'll notice up top, that's real wood trim finish. I like the way they didn't put any kind of veneer on it to make it look fuddy-duddy and shiny. It looks nice just in that natural wood experience. You have the soft material on the armrest, the contrast stitching. Of course, you're gonna have your off-road Twinkie tray there. Four Twinkies, no problem. And then down below, that is a massive door pocket. Easily get that foot-long meatball sub and a bottle of Pepsi to wash it down. Plus, you have the Bose sound system. Now, going from the door panel to the dash, this is, like I said, they've changed up how the materials are, how the layout is in here. You can see the stitching, soft-touch material, the, new, the wood finish, and then guess what? As you slide in, what do we got going on here? Here's the all-new infotainment system, 17.7-inch infotainment system. Of course, it's going to have unique icons and everything for the Chevrolets compared to, say, the GMCs. But what's great about it is I love the way it's integrated very clean into the dash. You're going to have all your camera angles. You can notice that you have heated seats, your dual climate control, and a real volume knob. Now, I want to talk about the technology for a second because guess what? You have more standard features on the new Tahoe than you had previously. And then also, there'll be an option for this remote camera system that you could use your Chevrolet app with on your phone to actually see within the cabin of your Tahoe. This is the things, these are the things that Chevrolet is doing to separate them from the competition. Now, working your way down, you got your AC vents nicely placed. We have our real knobs. So not everything is controlled through the infotainment system. We have real knobs for our AC. You'll notice on the column here, you do have that column shifter for the 10-speed automatic. Wireless charging, they enlarge that space. USB-A, USB-C, you could easily put, I would say, two payday bars, two cup holders, and I love the way they work some storage on the side. So if you have a potassium deficiency, you could at least put one or two bananas in that side area. Now, the way they restructured this whole center console gives you some great room in here, soft touch material, open it up. Of course, you're gonna have your planter's peanuts party tray, and then you got enough room in there easily for that signed Tom Brady football that you're holding on to until, obviously, you go to retire and you're gonna sell it on eBay. Don't sell it on Craigslist. You're probably not gonna get much. And then the seats. Love the material, the stitching, the softness. Now, you do have on the passenger side electric assist, Driver's side, you have electric assist, and then no sunroof on the Z71. But why don't you come over here to the business end? I got a new steering wheel and a new dash I want to show you in this Tahoe. All right, guys, business time behind the all-new steering wheel in this updated, upgraded 2025 Tahoe. Now, the good news is you're still going to get your two memory seat settings. I like the way you have that Chevrolet sill plate. Nice aluminum finish down there. And then your seat controls are easy to get to, especially the lower lumbar. That's gonna keep you out of the chiropractor office with having the nice seat control. I'm six feet tall, and the way that they have this whole interior set up, it really feels nice, spacious, and everything seems to be organized very smartly. One thing that I absolutely love is the steering wheel. They actually increase the thickness all the way around, and the style of it really looks very, very modern. You have your stitching, which looks really clean, the blacked out bow tie, of course, all your flat black finishes on your switch gear. What's great is, is that, of course, depending on the trim, you'll be able to get Super Cruise as an option. You'll also be able to get new technology like alerts for when you open up the passenger doors if there's a car or a bicyclist coming. You do have paddles on the back of the wheel to go up and down that 10-speed automatic. This particular one is a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then just like before, you have those easy to get to controls for your 4x4 system. Of course, the cameras, the automatic start-stop, and then this is the biggest news, 
all new digital instrumentation. I like the way that they're taking the design and style from many of the other new Chevrolets and bringing it into this updated Tahoe. But you know what? It's not just about the people sitting up front. Let's get into the mid row and the third row of this Tahoe. All right, guys, backseat time. And this is one of the things that I tell you multiple times that if you wanna get maximum room, sometimes you just gotta step up to that full-size SUV. And like I mentioned earlier, with this being that top selling vehicle in its class, it's no surprise because of what Chevrolet brings with the Tahoe. Now on the backs of the seats, you have that nice soft material. Love the large pockets. You could easily get a couple books back here, maybe 20,000 leagues under the sea, time machine. Get your kids to read. Tell them to put down the damn phones and read a book or two. And you know what? If the book is here, they might actually pick it up. Come on in, you got a nice command center, two cup holders, you got your AC controls just like before, USB-Cs, and then down below, of course, you got your home power source. Just like up front, I'm six feet tall and I just love the amount of space in here. You could slide the seat very easily. Of course, the seats recline and you do have a center armrest. My only zonk is I wish that they would make it a little bit wider. So that is a zonk, but I do like the way that they give you a place for um, a Kit Kat and your two cup holders. But you know what? It's not just about the mid row. There's another row here. Let's get into that and see how much room there is in this Tahoe. All right, guys, third row time. And you know what? When they came out with the new Multi-Link independent rear suspension, this I really feel was a game changer for the Tahoe. And for model year 2025, it continues. And this is what I talk about. Being six feet tall, I didn't shrink. My knees are not in my mouth. They're exactly where they should be. And I still have plenty of headroom. They even go to the extent to carve some of the headliner out, just like a jack-o'-lantern for Halloween. And you have AC vents back here, which feel fantastic and USB-Cs. So having that third row is very useful. But while we go ahead, let's see how much we could haul in the cargo area of this Tahoe. All right, guys, cargo area time, obviously always a big issue when it comes to hauling all the things around. Now, what's great is, is for model year 2025, not only do we have a hands-free ability option available on some of the trims when it comes to getting into the cargo area, but something new that I think is really cool is that you have the key fob in your pocket, you wait a couple moments, you'll get alerts with the taillights, and then the tailgate automatically lifts up. Because let's be honest, how many times have you had your hands full and you got your leg and you're trying to swipe it underneath and you just can't seem to get it and you wind up dropping everything. Nice to have it where it's totally hands-free. But we're gonna do it the old fashioned way. You're gonna hit the button, nice electric assist, rises up at a good pace and you're gonna be greeted to the same amount of usable space as before. One of the things that really I like about the Tahoe is not only do you have that superiority with third row seating, but with the third row up, you got a generous amount of room for your stuff, lift it up, you get a nice storage area, easily fit, I would say, six to seven boxes of Twinkies. Plus on the passenger side, you'll notice that we have a home power source as well. Think about it, you're at the beach, your kids want that raft inflated. You don't wanna use all of your precious oxygen in your lungs to get that raft inflated. So that's where you could have that electric air compressor and inflate the raft for them and you could still be alive at the end of the day, enjoying the beach. On the Tahoe, I think they keep it very simple to get the seats to go down. And I mean, it's just a one, two, three, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then of course that mid row will fold down to give you the storage capacity that you need when you're going to Home Depot or you're going to Costco. But you know what? Like I said, lots of big changes for this big SUV. I am very excited for when the media drive is gonna happen. It's not today but it will happen and I can't wait to bring it to you. But why don't we go ahead, let's wrap it up from this secret location in Motor City. All right guys, it's been one of those special days where we get to bring you the latest and greatest in what is coming out of Detroit, especially from Chevrolet with this new Tahoe. I definitely gotta thank the whole Chevrolet team for inviting us out and really allowing us to bring you the details on what is all new for model year 2025 on the Tahoe, especially the Z71 trim, 
Let me know what you think down in the comments section. Are you liking the direction that Chevy went with? Are there some things that you would like to see different? Put it in the comments section. I promise you they will go through it and read those comments. But until we meet another day, if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Raised Rides family. Of course, we got to give it up Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography, working that camera like the champion that he is. Show him some love in that comment section. Thank you, Stephen, for all that you're doing. Just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.